guys, James Mitchell here today, January 22nd, 2016, and I'm coming to you because why? I just got my January Loot Crate. Mm. It's called the Invasion Theme. Uh, I, I mean, I was really excited about it. Now, granted, I said it is January 22nd. Uh, if you are just looking for an unboxing, you've probably already found one by now. Why? Because apparently where I live, I get my Loot Crate last. Mm. Anyway. So, I kind of already snuck, I already know what's inside of this sucker, but we're going to unbox it and we're going to look and see what's inside of this invasion crate anyway. Now, with that said, I will say that I am still uh, very unpleased with Loot Crate in the sense of their shipping service. I'm not trying to complain, but they use FedEx Smart Post, and FedEx Smart Post is where uh, companies use very, very cheap shipping from them. And what happens is, is it gets stuck in a place in uh, northern Mississippi and it uh, switches between there and my local post office here in Tennessee. And it does not get transferred quickly. It starts out way above me for some reason. The shipping always shows it in Ohio and then it goes down into Mississippi and gets stuck in a place for a few days before it ever gets here. So people get their uh, loot crates a couple of days before I get mine. I'm not very pleased with that. Okay, if there's one thing that I, I would definitely complain about, it's their shipping. It's it's horrible. It's terrible. But anyway, uh, because think about this. If they had shipped it and now everybody else got theirs on Thursday and Friday instead of Wednesday and Thursday, and then all of a sudden now I've got mine on Friday, I wouldn't even get mine until Monday sometimes because that service that they're using for FedEx Smart Post generally doesn't deliver on a Saturday. And so my box would have been almost a week later than everybody else. Not happy about that. So let's open this puppy up and see what's inside of here, though. So, loot crate. Da, ra, ta, ta. Okay. Okay, first thing up t shirt. And the t shirt is. Well, it's definitely aliens. Looks like Mulder and Scully. So I'd say that's X Files. Yep, I'd say it's pretty much, yep, the X Files. This day has come, designed by Nice Bleed. Good job, dude. I don't actually see X Files anywhere on it besides the tag, but it's all right. You kind of get what it is. You understand that. Next thing in the box. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay. This is probably going to be my favorite thing in here. Uh, this is Space Invaders. It is a mini alien vinyl figure, limited edition. It is a loot crate exclusive item. And so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this puppy up and then I'll put it back in its packaging just like I found it. Oh wow, that's cool. That is awesome. Official Trito licensed product or Tato Corporation 1978 2015. Woo! Yeah, Space Invaders. Mm. And so, uh, there's apparently three of them. This one's like purple and blue. Apparently there's a green and blue and an orange and white. Would have been really neat to get an orange and white one, just saying. Uh, but age is 14 plus. This is not a toy. Hmm. Amazing. There's not, I don't know what, yeah, it's definitely not a toy because you can't really do anything with it sitting on your shelf. So, love it. I love that. That is cool. I like that. That just about makes the crate worth it in and of itself. The face hugger. Oh, yeah. Alien. Let's open this baby up. Old movie before I was ever born. Everybody knows what Alien is. Everybody knows what a face hugger is too. And so, Alien. Apparently there's three of these things too and the aliens look kind of weird, but this is a face hugger. A little bit disturbing, I must say, that this thing has a smiley face. It's really happy to be hugging your face. And, uh, uh, Let's just leave it at that. It's really happy, apparently. And so that that's a little bit creepy, a little bit odd. Uh, and then I did see on everybody's unboxing where they're like, what's this yellow rubber band for? Well, let me show you what this yellow rubber band's for. So. That's what the yellow rubber band's for. It's to help the face hugger hug your face. So it's not just a random rubber, yellow rubber band. But I probably admit that that would be a little bit odd if I didn't know what the face hugger actually was for. And so next thing up in the box is a LED flashlight X-Files. And so it's water resistant, anti-shock, switch, batteries included, but they're packaged separately. What I like about this though is I have I have a ton of these. Uh, you can get these little LED flashlights or nothing. I mean, they're, they're whatever. 
but I do like that it is X-Files and that it is a Loot Crate exclusive item. Uh, so that is that is really nice. Now, by the way, I should say that this face hugger is also a Loot Crate exclusive item. And so, and then of course the batteries are probably just some kind of little Chinese batteries. Uh, they're green. And so X-Files flashlight for the win. I like that. I definitely like that. Okay. Apparently we have a multi-pass from uh, the Fifth Element. Filston Paradise official flight multi-pass includes plastic card sleeve loot crate exclusive. And so this is from the Fifth Element. And I know I saw a lot of people taking theirs out of their packaging and trying to see what it was. Uh, Lilo Davis multi -pass. Well, I'm not Lilo Davis. Uh, so that is really cool. I think that's that's awesome in one sense. Uh, I, I have seen the movie. Not the biggest fan in the world. It's a little bit weird. And I think if it even came out when I was born, it was young. I was young, so I, I don't know much about the fifth element. But that's neat. I'll probably just leave that in the packaging. And then we've got the Loot Crate pin for January, which is the invasion. Now that pin is pretty sweet. I don't know if you can see it there. This pin unlocks something epic. Go to lootcrate.com slash pins. All right. Um, and then we have the invasion of the mini prints. We've got like little mini print posters from the movies, I guess, when they first come out, the originals. But War of the Worlds and The Day the Earth Stood Still. So I think it's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I've seen them, you know, I've, you know, old movies. But that's cool. I mean, it's really neat. I like that. Uh, I don't know what I can actually do with them besides put them back in the sleeve right here and put them back inside of this box. And then, of course, we've got the monthly magazine and the box itself flipped me inside out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'll fast forward this video, but I'm going to flip this box inside out. So, flip the box inside out. Let's see what it actually is. And on the front, uh, you can see a alien game. Uh, I guess it's Space Invaders type theme. You see all the alien ships and stuff. Hashtag loot crate, left, right, zap. Uh, one player, two player. You see a little quarter slots down here and the change returns. Uh, on the side, you see obviously the design that would be on like the side of an arcade game, it looks like. And so, and then the back, watch, listen, play, share, enjoy more at Invasion at LootCrate.com slash experience. So, I imagine that this box is supposed to be an arcade game, a Space Invaders type game. So, uh, it's neat. I did that because last time I did not know in my December box, first one, that the box flipped inside out. I didn't realize that. And so, I was like, I don't know what this box is. It looks cool or whatever. You know, and then finally I flipped it inside out and I figured out it's supposed to be like a cryo tube or something like that. So... Uh, I, I like that. I think it's neat. Uh, overall, uh, I don't like this crate probably as much as I do um, the December crate, which was my first crate. Uh, and I, I, I do like this crate, though. My two favorite things uh, were was the, the Space Invaders uh, vinyl figure and the uh, X-Files t-shirt, even though other than the tag, it doesn't actually say X-Files. And so, but I do like X Files. I remember watching it as a child. My mother was extremely addicted to it, and so that's uh, one of the entrances that I had into my uh, geekiness and things. So, um, not not a big fan of the multi pass. Tap pass. Uh, the flashlight's cool. You know, I, I did enjoy that, and uh, the face hugger and the big yellow rubber band that goes with the face hugger was pretty cool as well. Uh, and I do like the pin. It seems like they changed their pin from December to now. So uh, I like that. Um, and I'm dropping it all over the ground. And so, hey, thanks for being a part of this. If you haven't already, check out my other videos. There are some things, uh, uh, some encouragement, some uh, 
trying to, to speak words of encouragement to people in their lives. Also, I'll be posting some videos here soon that'll probably be about geocaching. If you haven't heard geocaching, head over to geocaching.com, check it out, sign up, create yourself an account, and uh, uh, start getting out into the world and, and going on an adventure and seeing what's in the world uh, where you don't even know that it's there. It's cool. It's awesome. It can be urban, out in the country, whatever. And if you haven't already, go out to... Uh, lootcrate.com, sign up, less than 20 bucks, like 13, 14 bucks for a crate, 6.95 shipping. Uh, if you're anywhere in the south like I am in Tennessee, don't expect um, to get your crate before anybody else. And you're going to be able to find out what's in your box. It's kind of that's annoying. I wish they'd change that. But, uh, yeah, they're probably not going to allow me to give any codes or anything. And nobody watches these videos anyway. My last one got less than 100 views. So, whatever. If you want to change that, though, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the or which is the thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. Who cares? I don't care. But uh, just, just leave a comment if you want to in the, the space below. And thank you. God bless you. See you in February.